24. Now we got because we love you. Now, let's say you wanted to move all these guys up together. Control, click, control, click, control, click. Now I've highlighted and I've selected those four areas. Now I can move them all up together. And then together can come up. Let's say you want to move James, Jim James back down to the corner and make it a little bit smaller. So let's bring that font down to 14. Jim James. Bam! Alright, so you want to do the same thing with your title here in the back. Author. Okay, so I quickly did that just so you guys could see. Go through the same steps that you went through for the front cover. And now your spine. Your spine is actually in the front. So we're going to go back down to the front cover. Again, look at your folders. And you always know where you are based on the folder that you're in. Or the layer that you select. So that's all on one layer here. So double click and type it in. Because we love you. Exclamation point. And you get the space down to Jim James. And there you have it for your spine. Now let's talk about your backliner, which is this area here. Now again, this is on its own layer, so you can double click that and retype in whatever it is that you want to say. It would be nice if this was already in its own Word document so it can already be proofed. You know, Photoshop does have a um, spell check, but you know, just save yourself some time and go ahead and do it in Word or something like that. Alright, now you got your new text, which is all Greek to me and to you. There's your customized template for your book or your product, DVD cover, whatever it might be. Now, let's say you wanted to change your image around. Let's say you wanted to use another picture. So, in this same folder, I've grabbed a couple of different images to use. So, let's say we're in Photoshop. Go to File, Open. Let's find those new images. So, extra images that I have here. Let's say I like this couple here. I can double click this couple here. I can click and I can drag it over here to the new layer that I was working with and come on down and I can say I like these guys a little bit better. Now they don't match your color scheme and there's a lot of other things that you can do to adjust that. But again if you wanted to make some quick adjustments of your own you can use your own judgment, your own taste, your own style and do that. Now let's say obviously, obviously you see this picture is a little bit too long too wide. So I went back up here to my, I started doing that without explaining that to you guys. I apologize. So I'm back up here. I'm explaining now. So your tools palette come on back up here and grab your selection tool make your selection over the area of the image you want to kind of cut off. So let's say I don't want that much. So I just hit my delete once I've selected that. Now, make sure you're on the proper layer. For example, if I'm on uh, this layer here and hit delete, nothing happens because I'm not on the actual layer that I want to delete it on. Once you're on your layer and you have that selection made, hit your delete and now that area is gone and you can click anywhere to get that selection to go away. Now you've changed your cover image to be something a little bit different. And just for the sake of argument, let's say you wanted to, keep, to maintain the overall color of the gray scheme. Again, on that same layer, the layer has layer options. And you could change those options now. Let's say I highlight the normal area and with my, what do you call this thing? My arrow, my arrow button, my down arrow button. I just move it down and it changes. So let's say I wanted to get to the bottom which is luminosity. So I came on down to luminosity to give it that same gray tone so it could match the overall book style. Now once you're done with that you want to go ahead and make sure it's the proper size. So image, image size. Here are your dimensions for the actual image. Now since this needs to be print quality we're going to need to bring this up to 300 dpi. 
I'll make that 300 DPI. Say OK. It'll get a little bit larger on your screen, but not much. To make sure you can see it, come on over here to your uh, zoom tool. When you see the plus, it ju it'll just make it bigger. So hold down your shift key, and hold down your alt key, and click, and it'll scale it down so you can see the whole thing on your screen. So, once you're done that, come on down here to image size. Whoever you're dealing with as far as your printer is concerned, make sure that these numbers are consistent with what they need. Most printers, especially the online printers, will give you some instructions as far as uh, what these exact dimensions need to be. Again, so once you've changed this number to be at least 300 dpi, change these numbers to match whatever it is they need, and you're good to go. Alright, for any additional instructions or help, see us online at alreadytemplates.com or studioeverything.com. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.